This Minecraft exploit could wreck the internet. In fact, it's not just a Minecraft exploit. This impacts a ton of other services around the internet. So this could be a real problem. This exploit impacts anything that runs with Apache Log4j. Log4j is a Java-based logging library that is using countless services. Minecraft, Steam, and Apple are some of the most well-known services that are known to use Log4j. Now, this exploit is dubbed CVE-2021-44228. It leads to unauthenticated remote code execution running with the user account that is currently using that application. So as you can imagine, it is severe. I mean, you don't have to authenticate in. You just literally send a string to the application. It's going to ping an attacker own server and then that's where you can send a second stage and then the attacker is ultimately able to gain remote code execution on the target application and this is already known to be used in the wild by adversaries so it did not take long for the cat to be out of the bag and just start tearing up furniture as cats tend to do so if you are using log4j ver versions 2.0 to 2.14.1, then it's known that you are definitely in the crosshairs of this exploit and you should try to upgrade to a newer version. But if you're not using those, then you're not necessarily out of the woods yet. That's just what we know right now. In fact, researchers at Lunasec, and there's a link down to this research down in the video description right now, but they release that patchy struts might be vulnerable, Steam might be vulnerable, Apple might be vulnerable. So it might be a number of different versions of course that we've listed in that range but there may be versions outside of that range that could also be vulnerable so please do update your applications make sure that you're running the most recent version of, uh, of log4j and stay abreast of information that are current that's currently being released like this happened with uh, previous exploits with Microsoft where they'll release a patch for an exploit and then the patch doesn't appear to fix the problem so you know it happens things happen it's this stuff is hard so definitely you know stay stay up to date on this now in that research article by Lunasec they do mention some mitigation steps that you can take if you cannot upgrade for any number of reasons and those are temporary solutions so, I mean, definitely try to find a way to upgrade and, and find a more permanent solution to this problem. But if you can't, there are some, you know, steps listed down in that article. So definitely click that link and check it out. I can assure you it's not a phishing link. I wouldn't do that to you. That's not who I am. Now, I mentioned that this is already being used out in the wild. And that's because this is incredibly easy to run. They actually, in that same article, give some uh, steps on how to run this exploit. And they actually publish a proof of concept from GitHub that I've also linked down in the description that you can check out and you can try to use that in your home lab. Now I specify your home lab. Only run this in your home lab. Please, the, the, me and this channel, we do not uh, condone running these kinds of exploits against any other organization unless you have express written consent to do that in a white hat, like red teaming or pen testing capacity. If you don't have permission to do that, then don't do it. Just do it in your home lab. I mean, it's 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 that simple. But those steps can, can be done. It, it is down in that GitHub repo. You can check it out. Uh, and, and test it out for yourself. Now, if you're interested in making your own home lab to be able to test proof of concepts like this, check out this video right here. It, you know, we talk about building your own home lab. There's a number of other things that you can do. I have content all over the channel, so check it out. And be sure to drop a like and a sub if you haven't already, because if you don't, then the cold dead fingers of the night will take me, and I just can't have that right now. So with that, I'll see you all next time. Bye. <laughs>